Hi, and welcome with to Tea with Tamara. Wednesday, August 16th, I believe. 16th. 16th. Ow! Today's a super fun one. This is the last um, chakra in the chakra series that I have been hosting for you guys every Wednesday during Tea with Tamara. Very excited because I'm using my gold mug today. Feeling very gold for uh, bringing the money. Obviously needed a gold teacup today uh, with some ginger tea. Um, super excited for this one. This is about this week. It's all about our crown chakra and our crown chakra is our ability to receive. Good morning, Nikki. Receive all the greatness that the world has to offer. Now, there are times in our lives, guys, where sometimes opening up to receive things seems a little bit nerve wracking. It seems a little bit uh, scary to open up our crown into the world and say like, I'm ready to pull in all the good shit. Because what if something good doesn't come in? But that's the problem. If you're having that thought, what if something good doesn't come in? You're not clearly stating to the universe what it is that you want to receive into your life, into your heart, into your body, into your soul in order to be in a beautiful space to be able to spread that like butter all over the world, right? So here's the thing about the crown chakra. And I'll give you an example if you've ever watched the movie, The Secret. If you wake up in the morning and stub your toe on the side of the bed, like right against that little corner, and you go like, holy crap, this day is just gonna be terrible. This day is gonna suck because I stubbed my toe on the side of the bed. So then you go around your day, you spill your coffee all over the counter and the floor, you get toothpaste on your shirt, your car doesn't start. It's because into your crown chakra, you made a very clear statement to the universe that said, bring me all the shitty stuff because today's gonna be shitty. Clearly, right? The minute you start a thought process that says, I'm going to receive something, because that's what the crown chakra is, it's like ordering up to the universe, exactly. It's like your drive through window to the universe, right? So you order <laughs> through here exactly what it is that you want. So if you wake up and you say, today's gonna be a shitty day, you're pretty much down, <laughs> bringing the window down and saying, hey universe, Today, I would like a cup of crap and uh, you know a side of everything terrible and um, an absolute large, everything's gonna go wrong today. Why would we ever wanna do that to ourselves, right? So my suggestion, my dear friends, to stop the crap from coming in that you don't want is to be very clear in your intention when you're opening up that window to the universe and declaring what it is that you would like to order. So why not? unroll that crown chakra window and place an order that is amazeballs, such as I would like a cup of awesome clients today with a side of a million dollars and uh, an extra large like happiness for everyone in my life. I don't know. To me, that sounds like it might be a whole lot of more awesome than calling in the crap, right? So the idea here, guys, isn't the more specific you are, so everybody always says like, oh, you know, I know that I was being specific to the universe. I opened up my crown and I asked for, you know, new clients. But did you actually tell the universe when you wanted these new clients? Did you say, universe, I would like to have three clients a week in your business like I do? Hmm? Did you actually open up your crown chakra and say, please, God, please, universe, please, source, whoever you call to, please only bring me the people I'm here to serve. If you are not doing these things, you are not declaring very clearly to the universe what it is that you would like to bring in through your crown, through that drive through the universe, into your life, into your heart. Because remember, when we're breathing in to that heart and that inhale and that exhale, you breathe it in through your crown, into your heart, so that you can spread that love and light everywhere that you would want it to go. Another thing that happens if you are not taking care of your crown and nothing is going in to receive is you guys are going to feel heavy and just dis disattached, if you will to everything and everyone. You're gonna be saying like, why is it that everybody else seems to be getting everything and I'm not? Why is it that, you know, Joe Blow over there is having a successful business or has a happy family? Why is it that, oh, some of us are still calling in all the people, yeah, you are, Roberta. <laughs> um, uh, but it can be changed, you call in only the people you're here to serve. Oh, I like my bracelets, they sound nice. Um, you know, Joe Blow over there's got a successful Barry. Mary Jane seems to be like rocking her family life, what's going on? Why is this happening and it's not happening to me? Closed. 
Close, 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 close. Don't close your crown chakra, guys. This is the place that you want to be receiving into. When your crown chakra is open and you are trusting. So if you say, please only bring me the good people in my life. Don't let anybody bad come into my life. I don't want to hear any negative thoughts, feelings, and emotions from people. I'm going to kind of be in my little bubble. I'm okay with being in a bubble. You know, I unfriended somebody the other day on Facebook because it was just too much. And I see a lot on Facebook, but this person was like, bah! and it was like, okay, too much unfriend. Um, but you want to be calling in the people that are very, very specific to who it is that you want into your life. You want to be calling in money. You want to be calling in compliments. You want to be calling in gifts. You want to be calling in kind gestures and words, everything that you can possibly call in, call in that is a positive. Why would you not be calling this in for yourselves, people? This is like the Piazza resistance. This is the place where you can have it all. If you allow yourself to open to receive from a source bigger than you. When I'm working with my clients, it all comes through my crown. I'm a vessel here on earth for you guys, right? So I just open up. That crown goes wide open. And then the words and the things I need to be saying and all of the love and light come in to me and through for you. Because my crown is fucking rocking. That's why. Right? Another thing you have to be very, very conscious about, guys, is when you're taking into your crown... Right? So you're bringing all that stuff in. Your third eye here, we talked about the third eye being like everything's going to be okay, nothing bad can happen, and all my needs are met, including financial. If you're receiving, if you're downloading some pretty amazing things from the universe, and then you get over here and you're like, that can't be true. How is that going to be happen? How can I say like I can totally receive that? Like that's not for me. Somebody else probably. That seems too easy. Or that seems like, don't talk yourself out of divine receiving. Why, why, why? Don't do that. When you get a message from something or someone or somewhere or something where you're like, I could probably do this. Yeah, you can. Hell yeah, you can. Don't let this stop you in any way, shape or form. Don't talk yourself out of shit. That's just silly. So it's like when I received that I could do chakra readings. You know, did I go, oh, Fuck, I can do chakra readings. I've never studied chakra readings. I don't even know anything about chakra readings. I went, okay, I can do chakra readings. Will you show me how to do it? I trust that this is exactly where I'm supposed to go. Thank you, Divine. And then I thought, you know, who do you want your teacher to be in anything that it is that you want to be doing in life? Do you want to open a book and have somebody else's idea of what you should be doing? Or do you want to actually like have like Divine teach you your shit? I chose Divine. And I went into everybody's energy not knowing what I was doing. And every single time I did, I got told exactly what to do, where to go, what to find, what to say. That shit was cool. But it was cool because I let it come in through my crown, trusted the crap out of it, allowed it to flow into my heart, and out for you guys. Don't open up your window to the universe and order the bad stuff. Open up. Order the good shit. All of it. Let it flow into you guys so that you can be a vessel here in whatever it is that you serve, right? Allow what is greater than you to come flowing into your body. It feels amazing. Allow compliments, kind words, money. Money is not a bad thing. It is energy. It's energy. Allow it to flow into you so that you can give even more into this world by whatever means, into that heart right? And in doing so, you're doing so in the service of something greater for you because you totally love and respect the people that you are here to serve because we charge what we feel our clients are worth. It's not about you. So let the shit in, right? You're going to let that abundance in. You're going to let events and people and all the good stuff because you're being very clear. I do not want anything bad today. So because I do not want anything bad today, please only bring me the good. And for five minutes every day, sit in your little, wherever it is, however you want to see it, and just close your eyes and say, please universe bring me, for me, it's please bring me exactly who I'm here to serve today. Please allow exactly who I'm, I do not want to receive the people who are going to say, what are you doing? You're crazy, la 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 la, negative people. So I don't want them in my house. I don't want them on my block. I don't want them on my street. I don't want them anywhere. So I'm going to sit there and I'm just going to say, like, please bring them to me. Please bring them. And then I'm going to imagine them coming. I'm going to fill myself up with that love light energy. And I know, I know that they're coming. I don't get to hear and think, what if it doesn't happen? What if I don't make this? And what? I just know. I know because I've asked for it through my, my you know, universal drive-through and I trust that it's gonna happen 
and I know my message is clear, and I know my heart is here to spread love, be love, spread love, and I know I've done the work in my lower chakras, and guys, again, side note, I had to do a whole lot of root chakra work yesterday. It is not something that we just do when it's done. It's something you have to like kind of like recognize and clear out on a regular basis. It's like maintenance work. But once you do the hefty, hefty, hefty work, then you can start to realize the side, like the, I call them side effects of what's happening in your chakras. And you'll be able to go like, oh, oh, I totally know what I'm doing here. I see what I did. Now I can clear the shit out of it. So that's the whole idea. So if you haven't seen every single one of the last tea with Tamara's, you can pop on over to the Enchanted Fairy. Uh, Tamara, uh, my, my actual group page, I'll just put the link here because there is a way that you can watch them back to back to back, right from your root all the way to your crown. This is what my book, The Magical Business Method, is all about. It's about taking out the shit that isn't serving you and all of your chakras. I love all your comments, guys, but I've been really passionate today, so I haven't been reading them out loud, but I totally can't wait until this is over and I can kind of like get up on your grill because I love it. Um, so it's about clearing out the shit in your chakras that isn't serving you so that you can pack it full of the stuff that is love, light, positive energy, all the all of the things, the people you're here to serve, uh, your tribe, your stardust, all of that. If you have questions about this, please let me know it's here this is this is what I'm this is my stardust helping you find your stardust is my stardust and starting that communication with people that's what I do for a living that is who I am Elaine let's talk so message me put a message here throw it in messenger you know get ready let's have this conversation also guess what I'm bringing all the good shit that's right guys it's that easy open it up um the other thing is is like I'm doing edits for my book. Shut the back door. This shit's coming out in October 5th. <laughs> so if you want on my book launch team, now's the time to kind of get in because in September we are going to be putting it all together and it will be available for those early readers who want to know exactly what I'm saying and put it into a life because there's going to be like really cool client stories in there. Uh, so message me that if you want to be in that space. But guys, today's super exciting. I'm very <laughs> so jazzed up. But if you would have seen me yesterday, just so you know, mm. That was tomorrow yesterday because she had to work on her root chakra and I ate a pint of ice cream, Hagen dazs and I didn't talk to anybody and I just wanted to be alone so that I could wake up today having done that work yesterday so I could be present here today to call in what it is that I meant to do and serve you guys. So just knowing what your triggers are, knowing which chakra is off, right? I think you're already on the book launch team, Teresa, don't worry, uh, is making sure. I'm actually going to make a Facebook page for all those that say yes, and so, and I'll be making a post separately as well. But if you want to know how to do this work, how to get into your stardust and clear out all of this stuff, guys, honest to get gracious, just message me. I will help you find your stardust. I will help you get this out, your message out into the world. It's what I was put on this earth to do. And I freaking love you all. Like, I can't even put into words how much... Showing up here with you guys every Wednesday makes my heart swell to, you know, 10 times its size because I maybe was the Grinch before because I have like OCD, which is obsessive Christmas disorder. Um, so I maybe was the Grinch before and I just like saying like my, my heart swelled <laughs> 10 times even bigger because you guys show up with me every single week. And so I love you guys oodles and oodles and oodles. And I'm going to send all my love light out into the world today and, uh, it's gonna be a freaking magical day because you're gonna open up your, your stardust is not sorry your stardust is not on vacation i love you fiona we gotta talk <laughs> open up this drive through to the universe order what you want <laughs> don't just let the window pass into you whatever it is order it on that note you guys are super magical beings and i love you all have a great day